fly in the controlled airspace area to test with the Nav Canada. I'll do it in a few days. I'm probably gonna fly in a place where I actually flew before there was interim laws and so forth. Hey, look at that. I flew in a controlled airspace before there was any laws and I didn't take down any airplanes. But I think that would be okay. It's kind of funny because when you fill in the forums, like they ask you what's the radius that you're gonna fly. I'm gonna go straight up and down. So if I write down zero as my radius, but they look at that and say, this can't be like a serious request or stop wasting our time, just go fly it. The sooner there's more common sense types of regulations where if people are flying it that low, have like a faster process and all that, the better in my opinion. But what I read today, I guess the most interesting thing I saw was DJI officially announced a new product. This one says the DJI Digital FPV System. Reimagine your FPV world. So they're getting into the racing drone game, I guess. And how does DJI describe it? It says the DJI Digital FPV System was specifically designed for hobbyists and professional drone pilots. It consists of a DJI FPV air unit module, a camera, FPV goggles, FPV remote control, all of which are packed with the powerful features and serve as a significant role in the development of our HD low latency FPV system. And it says here, we have redefined drone racing delivering low latency rates, a stunning HD display, and most importantly, an unforgettable FPV flying experience. So obviously more for racers and stuff like that. I haven't really done FPV drone racing, so a lot of this stuff is basically to me is like, okay, it's just specs. Maybe it means something to other people. Because I know usually when you watch FPV racing videos, I guess you could say for a lot of this stuff, like on videos, they look really blurry. It's almost like you're watching it through like an old school rapid ear TV type of image quality. Whereas with this, they're saying you can get pretty clear picture, which is what they show in the video. And what's the price? 819 US apparently for their DJI FPV experience combo. Is that cheaper than what most people would buy normally for FPV stuff? So are people in the FPV drone world going crazy over this? Or is this just another, I guess, convenient product? Because I would imagine most people who fly FPV drones just prefer to build their own stuff as well. As opposed to, I guess, people who fly drones cinematically in a lot of cases. Like for myself, I'd rather have everything made there. Don't have to worry about it. Put the camera and everything for me. I know people suggested I get into FPV drone flying, but even with here like the regulations, technically you're not allowed to fly it by yourself with those goggles since they obstruct your vision. So you need like a spotter, visual observer, so to speak, all the time with you, like if you're flying it like outdoors. Would I be able to fly like fast drones and stuff like that? For the most part, even with using the regular drone, it's almost like playing a video game pretty much, like with the controls and stuff. So I would have confidence I'd be able to fly it. You probably get some different types of cinematic because like I said before, even with like smaller drones, I'd rather have that for flying into like tight spaces between trees like you get a different view.
right. See you guys later.